Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And in today's Abacus tutorial, we are going to see how to submit multiple jobs using Python scripting. This is a part of a video series I am creating, a Python scripting in Abacus, and this is tutorial number four. Many times when we do a parametric study, we need to submit multiple jobs. And in this video, we are going to see how to do that. The overall flowchart is shown over here. Every time we create a model, then once we create a model, we will create a job and then submit a job. And this process we want to repeat many times. Therefore, we will write a Python script, which will put a for loop around these three points and it will keep doing it for multiple times. Now, some things to consider while doing that is the job name should be different for each iteration. Otherwise, the results will get over. Overwritten. So whenever you create a job, name of the job should change. Then name of the model may or may not change depends on you. If you want to keep all the models to later maybe visualize in GUI, then you can keep the model names also different. But otherwise, if you don't want those models, you can keep the name same. Let it be overwritten, but your jobs will be different. And you have two options. You can submit all the jobs simultaneously or you can submit one job at a time. Now, there are two approaches to achieve this. I'm going to show you both. One will be to create this model using Python script. And another will be to create this model using INP files because many times you want to create a model, you want to visualize it in GUI, but later you want to submit it on cluster and on cluster you don't have GUI. So what you can do is you can create a model on your computer, you can visualize it in GUI, then you just have to create an INP file on your computer which doesn't need much computational power. And once you have that INP file, you can copy paste everything on cluster and on cluster you can submit the job. So over there you have to create a model using that INP file. So let's see the first approach. This is the Python script to create random inclusions. I will not go into details of this because I made a separate video about this. If you are interested, you can watch that video first. The link is in the description. But what here I want to show you is here we are creating a model using a Python script. Once we have the model, we are writing a INP file. Then we are submitting that job. And also we are waiting for that job to be completed, submitting job sequentially. And this everything is in a for loop. It's a big for loop. So this process will keep on repeating. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this job submission. Therefore, once we run this script, we will just have different INP files. So let's go to Abacus CA and then run this script. First, set your working directory and then run this script. You will see here model one is created. Now model two is created, but it's not submitting the job. It is just creating different models and it will create different jobs and write the input file done. So you can see there are 10 models and for each model there is corresponding job, but these jobs are not submitted. These are just created and the input file is written. So if you go to working directory, you will see over here 10 input files are created. Now this is a small model, so we can submit it over here also. But let's say if you have very big model, then you can copy paste these files into your cluster. Once you have it on your cluster, you have to use this script to submit those INP files. You can set number of jobs. I'm setting it to 11 because I have 10 INP files. Whatever number of INP files you have, you have to increase that by one. And then in this for loop, we are importing a model from INP file. Here you can set the name of your INP file, the path, mostly it will be the working directory. And once you set up that, in every iteration, we will create a model using that INP file. We will create again the job with same name and here we will submit that job and again wait for completion. If you run this file on cluster, on cluster you can submit all the jobs. Now let's go ahead and run this on Abacus CAE. I will just clear everything. Now let's run the script to submit INP. Now it will take some time. So I will just fast forward over here and come back once it is done. A few moments later and all jobs are submitted. You can see results for one of that. And if you want to read all these results, you can write a Python script to read ODB files as well. I have a separate video about that. You can check that video out. The link is in the description. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab. And here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. 
The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.